What up? This is Rama Screen, and it's time for another Slap interview. And in the anticipation of Scare Package anthology movie, which arrives on VOD, Digital HD, DVD, and Blu-ray on October 20th, I'm here talking with one of the stars of this awesome film, Han Tran. How you doing, Han? I'm doing great. How are you guys? How are you guys hanging up during COVID? Uh, surviving, getting by. You surviving. Know? <laughs> yeah, everyone is. So. Uh, I enjoyed this film very much. A uh, lot of gore, a lot of blood, a lot of guts. Uh, you've done horror movies prior to this, right? Yes, I've done horror movies and horror shows before uh, this. Yeah. So what do you think about anthology in general? Do you like this type of storytelling where there are several different uh, plots within one movie? Honestly, I personally don't. But for this one, I do because, because there is... I should I mean I don't want to say too much to spoil it for everyone, but but yeah, but there is a segment there that connects everything together, and that's why yes. I like it. Yes, uh, your character um, is hilarious. He works at a video store, <laughs> which is basically extinct nowadays. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like Blockbuster. <laughs> exactly. I used to love going to Blockbuster. So, which exact video store did you guys have as a location for that film? Honestly, okay, this. is it's kind of sad because that video store no longer exists but oh, no. it was a real yeah it was a real live setting like it, it was a real video store in austin texas yeah oh just in case you guys didn't know that segment was shot in austin texas hmm. and that was my first time filming in texas yeah uh but yeah the, the video store no longer exists but it was really cool it was like being back in time you know yeah. seeing all these vjs vhs yeah Right. Your your character knows a lot about movies. I love that scene where Jeremy pretty much speed interviews you. Uh, uh, yeah. And you got to answer like really, really fast. And so Han, have you always been a fan of horror genre and how extensive is your knowledge of horror movies? Okay, to be honest, uh, my knowledge on horror movie, it's not, it's it's pretty shallow. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, but for this movie, I actually do I, I I had to do a little bit of research um, on on each you know segments that, that that I'm referring to, but yeah, my knowledge is not that 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 wide range in in horror. But I do enjoy watching horror movies, though. Oh, on that note, what's your number one uh, horror movie of all time? Oh, I do have a lot. I have a lot. I have a lot. Okay, I have to say it. Ah. I have to say it. I I really do enjoy it. Yeah, I love it. Um, I like the I like the first one. Um. The, the the remake was the, the remake was pretty good it was pretty good mm -hmm. you spend most of your scenes with jeremy uh yes. he plays your boss um yes. and so can you talk about your process both of uh, about both of you how do you and jeremy create that boss and employee dynamic for this film okay so jeremy and i actually did a, a movie called camera obscura before this movie uh, it was a few years back, and that's where we we met, but we didn't I actually got a chance to really talk, talk, talk. We met at the rap party because he was in a different scene. I was in a different scene. Um, it was the same producers. Um, but, yeah, the, I think we built chemistry because uh, we got there, like, about, like, like, like two or I think I think a whole day ahead before shoot. And him and I, we went out to, uh, you know, have dinner before, you know, the next day, you know, to to work. But yeah, um, we basically got a chance to talk, get to know each other. Um, but yeah, that was our, our only chance to really, you know, get to know each other. But uh, I'm glad it, I'm glad the, uh, hopefully the chemistry show on, on screen. <laughs> but yeah, but Jeremy's a very funny guy in real life also. He's very funny. Would you work for him? <laughs> um, don't don't tell him this, but uh, actually no. But uh, <laughs> but but yes, he'll be a good friend, but not a boss. No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be honest, yes. <laughs> Man, this movie is so much fun. And so, um, as I'm winding down to my final questions, um, mm -hmm. here's a here's something that I'm curious about. Uh, Halloween is upon us once again. Um, how do you, Han Tran? usually celebrate Halloween uh, annually? I mean, do you party? Do you dress up? Do you trick or treat? Uh, what, what do you usually do if, if we don't have this pandemic right now? Okay, if we don't have this pandemic, uh, my friends and I dress up as like a group costume. Like mm. we pick a theme and just dress up a group costume. And then we would hit up um, Third Street, which is like, have you guys heard of Bourbon Street in, in NOLA? Bourbon Street in New Orleans? Bourbon no, Street? I haven't. 
I okay, Bourbon Street is basically a, a street full of just bars and stuff. But like here, it's called Third Street instead of Bourbon Street. Like we would just, you know, just go to each bars and just have a drink, dance, have fun in, in silly costumes. Um, but our last get together, it, the theme was Pokemon, and I was in it in a inflated and inflated Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, like one of those blow up. You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can still do group cosplay, right? Uh, through yes. uh, Zoom or Skype. Yes, but yeah. Hey, uh, COVID right now, where I am right now is at uh, phase three, so mm. we can be out, but we can't be out past 11 p.m. Like everything has to be shut down at 11 p.m. because apparently COVID comes out at 11 p.m. and it's more contagious after 11 p.m. Wow. Wow. I had no idea. Well, yeah, there's really strict here. Yeah. I hope you guys have a safe Halloween. And lastly, too. Um, what's next on your horizon? What do you have coming up next project wise? Um, next, in fact, right now I'm actually in talk with a, f- uh, a few producer uh, to do their, the next film. But like I said, it's during COVID. So, um, so it's during COVID. So we, we, we used to have to have to quarantine ourselves two weeks prior to being on set. Yeah. It's, but it depends on which city we're in too. So, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I am in talk to be in, in a few films very soon, but you know, I'm just, I'm just blessed to, you know, just happy that things are moving again because it's, it's very tough for actors right now because you know, no production. So, yeah. So, so we have to find ways to be creative uh, at home, you know, just to hone that, yeah. Hone that creativity. Well, uh, best wishes to you, Han. And for you my too. fans at home, uh, everybody go watch Scare Package on VOD, Digital HD, DVD, and Blu-ray, October 20th. Han Tran, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me. Um, all right. I really hope you guys, uh, you know, could continue to support Scare Package.